right so we talked about development testing and uh, mon and operations which is more to do with how your day to day uh, activities would happen but you know how does a software gets developed right when when let's say you have you have uh, you get you talk to you have a new customer you have a project how does it go through various phases to uh, complete that particular software or the product right the first phase uh, which which happens generally in case of software development is the requirements phase where you know uh, we understand what is required what needs to be done how what are the inputs what are the output what is the performance everything that a customer needs right what is the user interface that the customer is looking for is it a web desktop mobile application if it's mobile how does it communicate the complete requirement of the application uh, is a first analyzed and then you know that will help so that you know you know exactly what is required once the requirement is done a detailed design is done a design which in, might include your database design your architecture your individual uh, components and ui back end api everything right so once you have the requirements clarified and clear you have your design phase now uh, once your design is done you know very clearly how to achieve you go ahead and do your development now development uh, mainly includes your coding and unit testing right uh, you you do your coding and you ensure the code is working as expected using either manual or automated unit testing and once your application is developed from the development team it would go to your qa to do a end to end validation of your uh, uh, application and any bugs or any issues are fixed and and once everything is verified Uh, the product is released to the market for end users to use it so this is a typical very basic and very foundational process of uh, how a software gets developed now one thing to note here is you know depending on your uh, which process you follow this whole uh, each 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 stage may take months or it may take days example in some cases the requirement itself may take two or three months in some cases requirement might be a couple of days and similarly for other stages also so <clears throat> so uh, how does how does now this 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 is a very high level process right so how does your companies or even a generally company develop the software and ensure uh, uh, the time spent is effectively used to deliver a product which is which is required in the market right so the, we, in this uh, webinar we only we will focus on two of the processes one is you know uh, one is called the waterfall model and the agile or scrum which is more common now i think you all would have heard about the scrum or an agile model and waterfall is was or is a legacy kind of a older process which we were following before agile scrum came in right so we will focus on how each of the stages of software development uh, uh are are taken care in each in both the process here and and this and then you know understand their benefits and uh, and and, and or what are the drawbacks of the same okay so uh, so first one is the waterfall uh, waterfall is basically it's it's like you know you have each stage of your software development uh fall uh, proceeding with the or once you're done with requirement then only you start your design once you're done with your design you go to the development so so you spend that complete time on requirements only to gather the requirements to ensure they are clear ensure everything is detailed out to not to miss or not to add additional additional so the complete requirements are managed and documented over a period of time it might be as i said it might be a month two months uh, depending on the application type and application size so once the requirement is all done uh, and documented and uh, everybody a customer and and everybody signs off then you you spend the same amount of time to do a design do a document a detailed design document including architecture the infrastructure and uh, uh, the hosting environments and everything is documented as part of your design again which is reviewed and signed off once that is done you go through a long process of implementing the application as per the design where, which is where your development and you, unit testing would uh, you would go through that process of coding and unit testing this again might take months together depending on your application once that is done you go ahead with your qa verification and then finally you 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 put it to production and maintain it right <clears throat> now in case of waterfall right 
uh, it is one stage after the next, right? You cannot directly jump from requirements, requirements to implementation. You need to go through the design phase and each phase will take probably, as I said, months together or weeks together. And then, you know, uh, typically what happens in such waterfall is you start with requirement ABC, by the time you complete and go to market, the requirements would have changed or customer feedback would have changed, customer are expecting something else. So <clears throat> with Waterfall, you get a very stable and very completely tested and working software product, but there's every chance that you may get a product which is may not be what the market needed or what a product may not really achieve what the customer needs because you would have spent three months, six months to go through the whole process. In six months, anything can change, right? So so that's uh, on the waterfall where it's uh, each phase has its own uh, dedicated skills, dedicated team uh, who, are, who are focused and, and experts in getting a requirement, those who are experts in designing an architecture side. So each of them will spend their time, their, their talent, their skills, to complete the phase and then move on to the next and so the others can go, uh, other teams can take up and, and do, right? So so this is a waterfall model, the drawback being it takes, it uh, the, the advantage being, you know, you get a very stable and very clear requirement and stable application tested working fine. But the drawback is you, you, you may spend six months long time uh, and realize that this is not what we wanted, right? So that to to avoid the this was a common problem. This this was commonly used process a, a decade back, and then you know we and then they were uh, to to solve the problem of creating a software which which the market may not need. The processes like Agile and Scrum started coming in, and uh, that's where you know uh, the uh, the we'll go into the next process where. We talk about uh, the agile process. Agile process, as as it means, you know, it is something that where where you or, or the company or the team is very flexible and agile for uh, a new set of requirements. It's not like you you don't spend months together or weeks together to get a requirement and then freeze it and just just work on those requirements. So the whole process is to ensure that the team is ready to uh, take up new requirements when if and when they come up. If, to, if this week you're working on requirement one, two, three, or in this case, let's say the feature one, two, and three, and, and, and customer comes back and says that I don't want feature two and three, but I need another feature four and five, the Agile allows you to add these in your next uh, release, which is probably next week, but a waterfall doesn't allow, waterfall uh, will not take any feedback until you complete the current requirements to before you take new. So the Agile is a process where, you know, you uh, as a team, you decide uh, what we, what is known as a sprint. A sprint might be two weeks, three weeks, uh, depending on the application and the team size. And uh, and then, you know, you, uh, in that two weeks, three weeks, you, in each sprint, you deliver a set of features, which are prioritized and agreed by the customer. And once the features are developed in a span of two to three weeks, you will you will do the whole process of the software development right from yeah you will get the requirements you'll do the design unit testing te you you do a detailed uh, validation and then release it so this whole cycle of software development happens in a, in a short span of a sprint right now now uh, now the the number of requirements and the features depend on the team size the number of developers and everything and finally you now every 3 weeks every sprint you release it to the market and then you get back the feedback and take that feedback to plan your next sprints and next releases. So uh, this is where, you know, when, when you are trying to, you know, uh, develop as an application and features every two weeks, every sprint, uh, you need it and, uh, uh, you know, we need a software or a process which is, which is consistent and which is very uh, uh, automated approach. That's where the DevOps and CACD comes into picture because most of the time spent on deploying, validating, and monitoring the application, if that can be automated, your uh, your sprints can focus on developing the application while your validation and monitoring is automated using processes, right? So, so that is the that that's where the agile and DevOps you see a, a lot of. Uh, benefits and value of DevOps in Agile more than a waterfall, because in Agile you will be you will be you will be deploying code almost every day and then validating your changes instead of validating at the end of end of the development cycle. So that's that's one thing where uh, you know uh, DevOps and Agile to
will uh, will help are help are helping products and up companies to deliver new features and new applications to the market every every week or every uh, month right so what you see here is in a typical agile process you have a, you don't have requirements you have features each feature will have user stories and at in every sprint you we along with the complete team decide what are the features we will take up for this sprint and go ahead and develop the sprint in uh, develop the features and uh, and then use the ci cd to deploy the application and the features on a regular basis to complete uh, your features in a sprint <clears throat> right and what you see and what you see at the bottom is uh, is uh, a source control or a you know a branching set branching um, uh, for your source code uh, which we'll get into a bit more details but you know this is a basic agile process where instead of instead of uh, spending months together as we do in waterfall you have a sprint in each sprint to take your features you develop them you use automated cicd process to quickly test your features and and put it to production